Go ahead and fire away whenever you guys are ready. All right, Coach, do you think maybe that was the, the team's best performance of the year, particularly in conference play? You know, I think it was. It's was our most complete game. I think it's a game where most of our guys, you know, pretty much everyone played well. I mean, it's good to see our guys all play to their potential. And uh, it's just a good team win. After the last game, I asked you about Isaiah Adams, and you said you're waiting for that moment when the light bulb goes off. Did it go off a little bit tonight? Yes, it did. And I'm so happy for him because that's a tough position to be in. Your sophomore year, you're coming off a terrific freshman season, and, and you have some struggles. And, uh, but, you know, you're going to have adversity in the game. You have adversity in life, and uh, it's what you do with it. And, and to see him respond, and he could have easily thrown this season away with his struggles, but instead he kept working, kept working, stayed confident, stayed together with his teammates, and then you have a performance like this because you're prepared. What can that mean for his confidence, especially here with just a couple of games remaining in the regular season? Knowing Isaiah, you know, he, he's such an you know, incredible competitor. When he has a game like this, I mean, it does a world for his confidence. I can see him continuing a run that he's on because he played well, and, and you, as you know, I mean, there's even more in him. So it's just a function of him carrying this game forward with him carrying the momentum, and, and he does a really good job at that typically. Would it be proper to say that this is the right time for that to happen? Definitely is. You know, you want to be playing your best basketball in, in February and March, of course, and, and we're playing well, and uh, we can even play better. So I'm, I'm happy to see our guys, you know, in a good rhythm. You know, I think, you know, I look at our sister turnover ratio. We had seven turns, 21 assists. You know, the last two games we've had, a, you know, a number of assists, which means we're making a lot of connecting plays in the way we want to play. So I'm just happy to see us. You know, headed in the right direction. Obviously, it's senior night. What can you say about the seniors on the team and, the, and everything they've featured over the year? Well, I'm proud of our seniors. I mean, they did a great job this season for us. Uh, you know, especially here at home. I thought, you know, I think we were lost three games at home. You know, you don't like to you don't like to lose any, but I think we had three losses at home against some very good basketball teams. So um, I'm very proud of what they did. I think they in leaving their legacy for the guys that are behind them. And they left the legacy of you know being professional, coming to practice every day, working really hard, you know, holding guys accountable on and off the court. I mean, they've been very mature, and uh, so it's been a mature group, and you know we'll miss them. But fortunately, we still have a, hopefully a lot of games left to play. What did you think about Jamil tonight? Looked like he made the most of his minutes out there. He did. I was really happy for him. You know, he got going early. I think some guys found him for some easy baskets, and then he took off from there and just made some, you know, outstanding plays, some strong finishes around the rim. And he's capable of doing that. You know, I was really happy for Jamil because Jamil, you know, it's been a kind of a tough year for him too, a little up and down for him. But, you know, you're going to go through that. You know, that COVID year was a unique season for most of those young players, and this is kind of their first true season like this. And uh, you know, I'm glad to see that he did a really good job coming down the stretch for us as well. How is this team different tonight without Brandon out there? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think we're too different without Brandon. This is our style of play. You know, we haven't really changed too much. It's just good to see, you know, more guys, you know, stepping up right now. I think they, they realize with his absence that we need guys to step up. And that does wonders for some guys at times. You know, I think, you know, guys like Ty, guys like Isaiah, uh, just to stepping up, realizing that, hey, there's a need for me to get out there and, and, and make these contributions for us to be successful. And, uh, and they, they've done that, and that's what I'm most proud of. Darius, ta Darius talked about perhaps there's a chance if you, know, you guys extend the season that Brandon could come back. Is that a possibility that his injury could have a timeline where he could potentially play again this season? Yes, absolutely. You know, it depends on, you know, you know how long we can play, but there's a possibility he could come back and play for us, and we're all hopeful for that. Because I hate to see any young man, you know, in a senior year go out, you know, not being able to finish the season out. That's tough, and so you know, hopefully we can continue to play long enough where he would have an opportunity to be back with us. You know, the, the thing throughout the year has been depth for this team. We've been talking about it a little bit tonight, but um, no, no, Brandon, as we were talking about, it's senior, it's senior night, and yet your top two guys. Not seniors, you got the return from Isaiah Adams here, so to speak, and then uh, C.J. Walker with a big night. D is there any better example of the depth than that? No, absolutely, absolutely not. You know, we, we, we have good depth, and I think it, should, it reared his head again tonight. You know, when our guys are all playing well, you know, I think we can go as deep as most teams in the country, you know, with, with and confidently sub guys in knowing they can make some really good contributions. Tonight was a perfect example of it, even with Brandon gone. You know, we have enough guys that can come in and contribute and make a difference in the ball game. It was really the perfect senior night because, you know, you don't always get the opportunity to get Levy and Anders in a game, but to do it on senior night with everyone going wild when you get them in there, I mean, how cool was that? You know, it was great. What a, what a feeling. And how about our student section? You know, how about our student section all year? I mean, they've been terrific. 
I mean, I think they fed off our guys. Our guys fed off them. It's been great energy, and I, and I just loved it. You know, I've really loved the support they've given us, and we wouldn't be, you know, our record wouldn't be the same without them. And I think they did a great job of coming out and supporting us. And I'm just really thankful for that, for them, grateful for uh, for their support. So it's obviously a very solid game from you guys, but they, you guys had some issues from from the free, from the free throw strike. You guys went seven for fourteen. Can you kind of touch on that a little bit? Yeah, you know, we, we have to be better from the free throw line. You know, we, we went to the line. I thought we had a, a couple of really good looks, you know, guys that can, you know, all of our guys are, you know, fairly good free throw shooters. And so we really weren't as good as I would like to have seen us from the line tonight. We have to continue to work on that to get better. You know, we have been a good free throw shooting team this season, and uh, but we can be better. And I think we're going to get in there and, and look at some of the guys' shots and, and get in the gym and work on it to try to improve before we, you know, step foot on the court for our next game. Is this a good time or a bad time to have a, a layoff of more than a week before you close out the regular season? <laughs> I think – ask me after our next game. <laughs> so we said last time. We've, we've had a few of these breaks. You know, no, it's a – you know, I think it's a, it's, a, it's an okay time for us to have a break right now because, you know, it's a long season. Guys are a little banged up and, you know, guys are recovering. Even some guys that are playing could, could use this opportunity to get a little healthy as well. So, uh, you, know, I would, you know, I like to keep playing because I like to stay in rhythm. But, you know, I think also I'd rather have our bodies, you know, healthy. I think that's the priority right now is, is, is being in good shape and healthy, you know, for your next game. C.J. Walker is known as a slasher, but he's added a three-point shot as of late. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? You know what, CJ's worked really hard this offseason to improve his game. I think you see, you know, glimpses of it this season. He's played well. Uh, he's improved his perimeter shot. He's improved his free throw shooting. Uh, he really put a lot of time in on his game, and, and it showed. And uh, he's going to be he's going to be a solid, you know, open shooter for us. I mean, he's shown I think flashes of that this year. And uh, we're confident, you, you know, when we shoot, when he shoots those balls, you don't see anybody on the sideline, you know, scratching their head because we've seen him shoot them in practice. He's made them, so we know he's capable of making that shot. It's just good to see his confidence is there, so he can make them like he did tonight. Tulane was a tough game here. You know, it's going to be a tough one there. No, absolutely. We expect a, you know a battle there. Of course, they're a good team. They're having a very good year. You know, we, we understand that we need to prepare very well for them. You know, they have some really talented players, and. Uh, and, you know, it should be a very good basketball game. Has it surprised you their rebound? Uh, their rebound? How they come, how they come back from where they were? Oh no, I, you know, I mean, Coach Hunter does a great job. You know, he's a very good coach. He has some really good, talented players. You know, over there, some young, talented players. You know, I can think of Cook and Forbes. You know, offhand, those two guards are as good as any guards anywhere. And so, when you have that kind of, you know, caliber backcourt, I mean, you, you're capable of competing against anybody. And so uh, they've had a good season, and, and I think they're playing with a lot of confidence. This is a pretty big question, emotional coach. high tonight with it being senior night, last home game, all that good stuff. Um, what is the important, because we also mentioned the big break for practice, what's kind of the, the challenge from your standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, to um, kind of push through practice into that next game? You know, we have to make sure that we, that we, we go about practice the right way. You know, I think our preparation was really good for this game, and so I think we came out with the right energy, with the right mindset. I thought our game plan was good. It gave us a chance to be very competitive. And I think we need to do the same thing in preparation for our next game. It all starts, it all starts with preparation. You know, our guys coming in focused. Their mindset has to be right. Our mentality has to be right. If we do that, you know, we, we prepare well. And then usually if you prepare well, you play well. Johnny, what can you say about the UCF women's basketball team earning their first top 25 ranking on Tuesday? Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm so proud of them. You know, I'm looking forward to coming to their game this, this weekend. I think they play Saturday at 2 o'clock. And they play Cincy, I believe. I'm excited to get, get out to see them play. Uh, you know, Coach Abe has done an amazing job with her program. And uh, her girls are terrific. Uh, you know, both programs get along, you know, really, really well. So I'm really excited for their success. You know, just like they've been excited, you know, for hours. And uh, just I'll be rooting for them on Saturday. You like their emphasis on defense? Oh, I always, you know, I love their emphasis on defense. <laughs> we both, you know, cut from the same cloth there. You know, Coach Abe, she's amazing, family's amazing, and I'm just really happy for the success that the program and that their staff is having. All good, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Coach. All right. Guys. Thanks, John.